Hello and welcome to the first part of our Tiger Create tutorial series. My name is Andreas, I'm the head of development for Tiger Create. Let's start with building a new book. First, we need some material. We take it from the old and classic book Little Polar Bear by Hans de Beer. It has lots of nice scenes. For an example, I want to take this scene 3. We have lots of art in here, so we need to open up Photoshop and import this art into Photoshop. I already did this. Then we need to cut the image to the size we need. This book should be in landscape format, so we need a size of 1024 by 768 pixels. We then need to cut out all the objects we later want to animate. Then we can save the background in JPEG format. A quality of maybe 70% is good enough for me. You can always check here, but it's fine. I save it in my image folder, scene 3 images, and I name it scene 3 BG for background. Now I need to have some of the, uh, the things we want to animate later on. For example, the little polar bear, this one here. And now it has the same size, 1024 by 768. And I have to save it as a transparent PNG. So I should cut down all this stuff around that I don't need. I cut it down. And now it has the size of 342 by 212 pixels. I will make it a little bit smaller to 256 width because the power of two elements. In mobile devices, it's always good to stay under the values of power of two. So under 256 by 256 or 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024. This saves lots of memory. So it's much better if you have a picture of 280 pixels to scale it down to the max size of 256 pixels and then later in the book scale it up a bit. Of course you will lose some quality by scaling it up a bit but normally the user won't see this. I save this as a transparent PNG. In the same location, I call it Ceno3 Lars, because Lars is the name of the little polar bear. So the other images should be prepared the same way. I close Photoshop and start with Tiger Create. I open up the tool and this is it, the beginning in the beginning, we want to create a new book. The book name should be Little Polar Bear. The scene size I already told you about. If you want to have a book in portrait format, you would take this one. Book ID and the other stuff is not important right now. But the language is, we have some languages already in here. We will support additional languages in the future. Now I want to make a pure English book. So I choose the language and use a plus sign. And that's it. Oh no, here you see the book cover. Let's put from the images we already prepared the book cover. This one in. And now create the book. I want to save it directly on the desktop. As you can see here, the book folder was created, Little Polar Bear. That's a project folder where all our assets are in later. And now we have the empty Tiger Books, uh, Tiger Create software. I make it bigger to screen size. And now we need some images. 
We have here the book navigator where all the images, sounds and scenes are in and if you open it up, no images, no sounds, no scenes. So first we need to add some images. I make a new finder window, go to the desktop and open up our scene of three images. Here we have some images I already prepared, the title screen, the background we prepared, some other assets, and I just take these assets here, not the text, and drag them in. They are automatically sorted in here and appear in the left column. If you want to see these thumbnails a little bit bigger, you can go down below here and resize them. And you can, of course, resize your full layout. So you can still, with, even with bigger thumbnails, you can still see the names of the assets. <laughs> And as you can see here, you even see the size of the assets. So these are our backgrounds. This is our Lars with a width of 256 by 159 pixels. Now, we want to create the first title screen. For this, we need to set the background. Each scene needs to have a background. And you enter the background using the scene options here. All the images that you imported that have the size 1024 by 768 and are in JPEG format are listed here. So we need our first background here. You already can see it. And then we make a screenshot. Save current scene viewer screenshot. These screenshots will be used for thumbnail preview of the scenes. And that's it. And now our first scene is finished already, so we better save it using File, Save As. The Save dialog opens up. You're already in the real important scenes folder in our project, so we just call it Scene 01. That's the name of our first scene. And save it. Now, I want to make the next scene. So I say new scene and you see a new scene window open up and for this I set the other background we already prepared, this one, and I make a thumbnail too. Even if there are no objects in it, just for the fun of it. Now we need to put in some images. We're still here in the book navigator where all the assets of the books are listed. And I want to put in some of the assets we prepare, prepared. For example, I put in little polar bear and place it here. I put in the first image of the father who's diving. Just drag it in. I put in a small mask. You see the father who's diving here has a really hard border and I want to soften it up a bit. That's the reason for this I prepared this small mask. And now when I drag the father up and down, it's very soft and it looks much better. And now I need the ice float. I put it here in the background. So, come here. Now our scene is almost finished, but remember we scaled down Lars a bit, so we can just scale him up again using these handles. Oh, you can use this one for rotation, you can use um, numbers, like here you can put in direct numbers, I go back to zero again. You can use this small rotating device to rotate it by 45 degrees, and you can scale it and I scale Lars up to 1.2 and then he's bigger again and looks at his father. Um, I save using a shortcut, Command S, 
and now I call this scene scene 03. There's one in the middle that is still missing. Now we have saved the scene and before we uh, create the book we need some text and for this I go into the scene assets here. These are the scene assets in the scene navigator and you see all the things that are in the scene. So here you see all the things in the book project that can be used in every scene. Here you see all the objects in this particular scene. Four objects right now. And with a plus sign here we can add a text field. So I take it and put it here, make it a little bit bigger and then I want to put some text in. Here you see the properties of the objects you select and when I select the text field and I scroll down I see the text properties. The font size, the fonts we are supporting right now and the color. Alignment is left and it's not connected to some voiceover. Here I have to put the text in and for this I need to open up the text file I prepared. It's in the RTF format. It's the full text of the book but we only need here not the title scene, not the next scene, but the third scene. So yeah, delete all the other stuff. And then what we have to do is make one big text out of it. So remove the line breaks, the formatting, because formatting can it cannot be taken with us. And afterwards, it's very important, I'm in the text edit now, to use this feature make plain text. It removes all these weird characters that might be in Word documents or RTF documents. And then I just copy the text out and paste it in here. Enter and it appears. So we need a little bit more of line spacing to make it look better. And um, make it a bit wider. That's much too wide. Okay, that's it. And now we can look at the preview of the scene by choosing view, the toggle edit and preview mode. You see, now it's a preview of the full scene, and you can use keyboard shortcuts like command P for preview to toggle back and forth. Looks good. So I save again and when you then look here in the book navigator I collapse the images and look in the scenes you see we already have two scenes. And now we want to have a look at this, how it looks in a book. For example, let's test the book, test book. And I want to publish for testing scene 1 and scene 03. Ignore the preview mode. This is only important when you generate the final EPUB. Then you can have a small EPUB with a small sample of scenes. So do not use this preview here. Just check the box for the scenes you want to see. By the way, you can move and change the order of the scenes by dragging the scenes around. I want to publish for iBooks. And I say, um, this is uh, North South Company. And I say, test book. And the export starts. The EPUB is built and then the iBook app is launched automatically and the little polar bear 
is opened. The first scene we did and the next scene is this one. So we just created our first fixed format layout book for iBooks. We close it again. And now if you want to have this as a single app for Android or iOS, you go to test book and say, yes, I want to have a standard standalone iOS application. For testing, you don't have to put all this stuff here in here, the provisioning profile, bundle identifiers, um, icons and so on. You can just use test book and in the background, all the data will be compiled. The templates will be filled with your book data and an app for Apple iOS will be generated and the Apple iOS simulator will be started. Of course, you would have to install Xcode, the newest version, before you can do this. And here it is. We see our little polar bear book on the iOS simulator on a simulated iPad. I can see the scenes up here. We have two scenes in the scene right now. And I can click here directly and you see the next page or you can navigate using the buttons. That's it for today. Have fun working with TigerCrate.